how to establish myself as an expert. You are already an expert within your niche. Um, that's why you chose it, that's why you have the passion for it, that's why you know so much about it and want to share it with the world. But to be an expert, there are many experts, but you have to establish yourself as an authority. And that's the difference. And uh, the, we have a brand building program, but um, some of the things that we teach is that, for instance, you can write a book. Because if you are an author, then you are more an authority, it's almost in the word author, then you are more of an authority than the other experts in your area. So if you imagine that you are going somewhere and you meet, you go to an exhibition and you want to uh, buy some uh, solar panels and you have three vendors standing there and they are selling more or less the same and they are giving you this almost the same brochure. But, ex but if you imagine one of them, he actually talks to you and say, okay, but um, I have written this book here and uh, I have uh, the book is about the 10 most common questions that any um, house owner should ask himself um, about solar uh, energy or renewable energy. <clears throat> what do you think will happen when I go home and I have this bag of brochures and stuff like that? When I come home, what happens to the brochure? They go in the dump, in the waste, but the book, you don't throw out a book like that. I keep the book and maybe when I'm gonna uh, continue my research for these solar panels, I will take that book again and I will look in, into it. And of course, I will call that guy who gave me this book because he must know something. He actually wrote a book. So that's a very brilliant uh, way to um, build authority. Um, it's a good way to start. I have a small program called uh, How to Write a Book in Seven Days. And um, uh, that's actually where I teach you how to make a book very simple but it's a good way to establish yourself as an authority. Mm -hmm.